You'd be surprised to know how many everyday things we persistently do wrong. How do you spread jam on your bread? Take out chips from the package? Eat a hamburger? Watch this video to make everyday things much easier. Do you like jam on a sandwich? You certainly do. But what you obviously hate is to get your chin and clothes stained with jam. Watch how to make a sandwich in the right way. Spread peanut butter on a slice of bread. Leave some free area in the center to put on jam. Add jelly or jam and cover with another slice of bread. We've got a perfect sandwich. The butter keeps the jam from getting out. You won't have to clean jam stains from your clothes or tabletop. Do you like Tic Tacs but have no idea how to get them from the box the right way? You keep struggling to get one mint at a time, don't you? Learn more about the Tic Tac box function. Turn over the box, pop up the hinged lid, and find a mint in a special slot housing exactly one Tic Tac. It's easy! Do you use a knife in the right way? If you cut your fingers rather than food, then learn how to use a knife safely. It's crucial how you hold your hand. Fold your fingers. Use your knuckles to hold an apple. Reduce the danger to cut yourself. Cut food, not nails. If you've still cut your finger, apply a Band-Aid in the right way. We usually put a Band-Aid just around the finger. As a result, it immediately falls off as soon as we start doing something. If you don't want to look for your Band-Aid in your backpack, apply it in the right way. Make two opposite cuts. Apply the Band-Aid crisscrossing the flaps. It'll stay for a long time and do its job. Do you love oranges like we do? Then you certainly need to know another trick of how to peel it without soaking your hands in too much juice. Cut an orange across the equator. Stick a spoon into the cut and run it around the orange. Twist the halves in the opposite direction to peel the orange. You can use a knife instead of a spoon. Stick, twist, and peel. It's as simple as that. Have you ever had a problem opening a canned drink? Firstly, you should keep your nails safe while opening it. And secondly, you should try your best to catch your drinking straw. Let's see how we can use a ring. Rotate it to set it just above the hole. Put in the drinking straw. It's much more comfortable to drink this way. We found a clue as to what the ring is for. It's time for a snack. Who can eat a burger quickly and carefully? Ready, steady, eat. All the filling falls out of my burger, but my friend is going to win this competition. What's her secret? It's easy. Take a hamburger and hold the bun using your thumb and little finger from the underside. Press it with your other fingers on top. This trick keeps the filling inside without letting it fall off. Has your phone died when you urgently need it? Do you think it'll take a long time to resurrect it? Then see how to start a desperate reanimation. Set on airplane mode and begin charging your phone. In this case, the battery will charge faster as your phone doesn't have to get busy with a signal search or update downloading. Everybody loves healthy vegetable salads, but a flower stalk cut out which has been put accidentally into the dish can spoil the vegan's paradise. To avoid this unpleasant situation, use a simple trick. Take a small box with a flap lid. Hang it next to the table. Fasten the flap with your cutting board. Remove the unedible cutouts into the box as they appear. Thus, you avoid putting them into your salad. How to wear earphones in the right way? It's easy. Place the tip in your ear. Turn it over so the cable is facing up. Loop the cable and hide it behind your ear. You can dance and jump and your earphones won't fall out. Have your earphones been lost in your handbag again? Learn how to fold them in the right way, quickly and easily. Wrap the cable around your palm. Leave a loose end. Take it off your palm and wind the rest of the cable around the skein. Tuck it in the plug. Forget about tangled cables and spare your nerve cells. Mmm, hot coffee is just what you need when it's cold outside. Add a little sugar. Open a sugar stick in the right way. Tear it off above the cup to get the sugar put directly into your coffee. Make your coffee sweet and don't let the sugar sprinkle on the tabletop. And use the lid as a cup holder. 
Why haven't we thought about it earlier? Do you need the juice of one lemon? This little pool will hardly be enough. Is it mentioned in your recipe that you need Superman's strength to squeeze a lemon? Let Superman save the world. We'll manage it ourselves. Put a lemon in the microwave for one minute. Squeeze it easily. You don't have to apply super strength anymore. You're going to dine out. You already know how to use the right cutlery for the right food. Now it's time to upgrade your knowledge. Learn how to place your fork and knife after you finish eating. Place the knife and fork parallel with the handles pointing to you when you want to finish your meal. If you want to show you haven't been satisfied with your meal, rest your fork and knife in the center of your plate with the tips facing each other in an inverted V slightly angled. Put the knife between the tines of the fork. When taking a break, place your fork and knife on the rims of the plate with its handles resting on the table. Take a sip of your beverage or to speak with someone and return to your meal. If you want to show you liked your meal very much, place your fork and knife parallel with the handles to the left. It's been excellent. We adore Pringles chips, though it's not always quite convenient to take them out of the tube. Take a piece of paper. How should we use it for the chips? Roll it and put it inside the tube. Turn it over to let the chips fall out. When my friend looks away, I take the chips for myself together with the practical holder. To blare on chocolate is a sweet tooth stream. It's so tasty, milky, and triangular. How to break it in the right way? Take off the wrapping. Press the top of the triangle and get the chocolate broken into portions. It's quick and easy. Mmm, this muffin's so tempting, but I'm afraid I will spread the cream all over while eating. How to avoid it? It's as easy as pie. Separate the bottom and place it on top. The cream gets sandwiched between the cake layers. Eat it safely. Do you always splatter your juice when you pour it into your glass? It's because you do it wrong. Hold the carton so the spout is on the top. It results in a clean pour without any splatter. Cool! Do you know how to peel a banana? This little trick will make it super easy. Press the top and peel in the opposite direction. It's never been easier. And what about a tangerine? Cut the top and the bottom. Cut the skin and separate the citrus in half. Pull out the segments. Enjoy the sweet taste. The chip hunt begins. Where are you going? They've gone. Oh no, I'm going to catch you this time. I just wanted to snack on my own. And what? Here's my friend wondering what I'm doing. She knows when to sneak up. Okay, let's chew on them together. My hands are greasy again. There's a simple hack to avoid it. Fold the corners of the open bag. Gradually fold the whole bottom. Chips keep getting brought to the top. Your hands don't get greasy so much as you don't have to put them into the bag so deep. I keep the chips left over to eat them later on. I put them into my backpack, but I didn't expect that they wanted to capture it. Oh my god, it's a chip attack! I have to gather them from all over my backpack. To avoid it next time, my friend teaches me how to close the chips bag in the right way. Smooth the bag. Fold the top corners. Fold up or roll up the top edge tightly. Smooth each fold to make sure the bag won't open. Keep your backpack clean. Perfect! Now they won't get out. Cutting bread is a simple thing, but sometimes we don't cut the bread crust good enough. It results in holes. Turn over the bread on your cutting board. In this case, we start cutting the broadest part, so we cut the entire crust. Do you unwind a toilet paper roll in the right way? Some would consider it a minor question, but we want to think about the budget and the environment. When you drape the end over the top of the roll, it's not so easy to tear off a piece of the needed size. If you position the end under the roll, you'll manage to get a piece of the size you want. Thus, you'll spare both your budget and the environment. Do you like cereal for your breakfast? Cold cereal can spoil your day. Heat it in a microwave. Make sure your food is going to heat evenly. Don't gather it in the center. It may keep it cold inside. Spread it all over the plate to let it heat evenly. 
Enjoy your healthy, low-fat breakfast. Bon appetit! Do you need to search information quickly and easily? Use Google Tricks for a quick search. There are a few simple hacks you need to know. Use quotes to search for an exact phrase. The search engine yields only pages with the same words in the same order. On the contrary, if you need to eliminate results containing certain words, use the minus sign. When you want to search for more than one word or term at the same time, use OR between them. If you need to search for all synonyms of a word, use a wavy dash symbol. And even if a word slipped out of your mind, replace it with an asterisk to get the information you need. We hope you'll use the hacks to charge your phone fast, to squeeze a lemon, to peel an orange. Write in your comments which idea you use. Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and click the bell to learn about new life hacks.